Hey y'all, Danielle, the Blissful Oracle, and today we are going to unwrap the Midnight Magic, which is a tarot deck of mushrooms by Sarah Richard. Alrighty, so illuminate your path with the beautiful fungi of the forest and beyond. Alrighty, I was not familiar with Sarah Richard, however... I did do a little search online and found her gallery. Highly recommend you go check out her bio. And I had not realized that she was a, uh, I did not realize that she was a comic book artist as well. So girl after my own heart. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, I actually owned a comic book store in the 90s. So early to mid 90s, I was all about the comic books. All right, this is published by Simon and Schuster. I, again, I enjoy looking at the boxes. Oh, I enjoy, I, I, I've shared with this before. Oh, I don't think I like that. That's a little weird. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I like that. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I'm gonna say someone made a mistake in the box measurements versus the card measurements, or is this the way that these decks are coming nowadays? I don't know, I guess we'll find out what other Simon & Schuster decks come in. But I'm really enjoying, but I'm really enjoying that the publishers are taking the time to design a box to go with the deck. I know some of you don't store your decks in boxes but mine are stored in boxes until I am actively using them and then they go in a pouch that comes here on my desk that way it's just a little easier to than opening all those boxes and it's easier to stack and just kind of travel with as well in room, my, my travel case I keep all of my decks in some sort of pouch or bag I don't usually keep them in a box it just it just adds weight especially when you're traveling all right, you can see this is pretty inexpensive cardboard stock. I would actually say this stock is pretty much like the Inside Edition stock. In fact, let me go pull one of those decks and I'm gonna find out. All righty, I went and pulled my Stranger Things deck. Um, again, this is Inside Edition card stock. And I was actually, I was kind of disappointed in this one because this is exactly how my deck arrived. It, that's why I don't like these filler things. I mean, the, the one that's in here is not as flimsy, but I, I don't like that. I don't know why that's happening in the industry. <laughs> I mean, it makes for a nice presentation, but again, this is how my deck arrived. It was all torn up inside and I'd actually had one of the cards is it this yeah you can see right here I had one of the cards this is a brand new deck this should not be happening can you see that this should not be happening with a brand new deck all right as far as the stock goes this has more of a that rose petal feel this is just a paper stock it is just it's not great stock um, Trying to think of another deck that this might be like, but let's just for comparison's sake, look at how close it is in size. So it's almost the size as the, of the inside edition. I'm gonna say it's the same thickness. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's the same type of cardstock. And then also on my Stranger Things, did anyone else have this where it was like not centered? I'm not trying to pick on, you know, Inside Edition, but because I know everyone in the whole, everyone already has picked on them, but yeah, that's, it's, it was just disappointing. It was just super disappointing to get, you know, especially if you pre-order a deck and you do pay the full 20 bucks on it and then it comes in and you got a bent card and you got a torn up box. Uh, I mean, and again, it wasn't even the box was damaged on the outside it was damaged on the inside so the first thing I'm going to tell you is I don't 
and look, there's already a slight, a slight warp to the deck already. I just opened it. You can see right there. So probably still slid around in the box. All right, I am gonna say no. <laughs> this deck is going to tear up pretty quickly, especially if you're a riffle shuffle, shuffler. Um, yeah, it's just a standard cardboard stock. So I'm not impressed with that. Not impressed with the card. Okay, I was just kind of curious because I knew Insight was pretty, Insight Editions was pretty much the same size as a standard Rider Wade, and yeah, it's the same size. Alrighty, well, here's the back of the card. That's beautiful. Love it. But I think my deck has some of the same issues that my Inside Edition deck came. You can see there, like these two are already warped, and this is just kind of falling there. I mean, if you wanted to edge the deck, this would definitely be a deck that I could see edging. But I just don't know how long this cardstock is going to last. It's got a nice book. And oh, it's got a color book. I like that. So I do like to be able to see a color picture inside. So let's just look at the book here. So there's an acknowledgement. It is in full color about the deck, how to read the cards, spreads, the arcana sources cited. I do enjoy that. I appreciate that as well. So we have the introduction, how to use your deck. All right. All right. So there's some references and there are some books that are referenced. So I may check that out myself. All right. So there's the book. All right. Let's just examine the card little closer. Uh, first off, we have the, the, the chicken of the woods. So what the, the uh, mushroom is, right? The one that we recognize. It also has its scientific name here. And then it has the fool. Also has the number at the top. And I believe the book is very much similar. So in the book, yes, we have the number of the card. We have the card name, the full chicken of the woods. So we have an upright and we have a reversed meaning. Um, it gives you some keywords. I do enjoy that the book is color. And it looks like Yeah, it definitely looks like the mushroom reflects the theme of the card. All right, yeah, I'm looking forward to working with this. Again, beautiful art. I, the, again, the only thing I will say that I'm a little disappointed in is the cardstock itself. One of the reasons that I was attracted to this deck is not only the art, the art is absolutely gorgeous. I, I want to take some time to learn a little bit more about the fungi, the fungi, um, Blah. Does anyone else record their blooper? Else edit their bloopers in to their film, to their video? Hmm. All right, back to work. The reason I was so attracted to this deck was not only the art, but again, I'm familiar with the adaptogen mushrooms, like, you know, your uh, turkey tail and your reishi mushroom, but I'm not familiar with some of these others. I'm and looking forward to, um, seeing again doing the research on the mushrooms as well as taking that knowledge and see how it does reflect in the themes and the archetypes of um the rws deck so definitely this is going to be a little study deck I, I may i may i don't know what i'm going to do yet i i may have a few dedicated journal pages to this particular deck uh, i don't know that it warrants its own journal study journal if you will um I don't know. I, I don't know. Because there is a, um, 
There's another mushroom deck coming out, a mass market deck. I know that there's a indie one out there, but there's another, um, not tarot, but there is, uh, I believe it's the Mushroom Spirit Oracle coming out. And I think it's 36, 36 cards. So that almost seems like a rock pool deck. I'm not sure. Um, I'll put it in the com or I'll, I'll, I'll put it up here on the screen uh, once I get the picture up. So who knows? I mean, I, I went ahead and I pre-ordered that one. I'll be honest, because again, I the way I learned my herbs and a lot of my flowers were through the process of using tarot and I, oracle deck. I want to say that it said it was coming out in May, but then I think that there hasn't been an official date. Again, I, I'll put it up here on the screen. All right, I just had to take a break from shooting because that's a red-headed woodpecker and he is just so his head is just so red I don't know if you guys hopefully he'll turn around here where is he where is he turn around buddy I gotta take the screens out which I guess oh there you go you can see his red hat yeah, there you so go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my stack for April, and then I'll be back. And this is a good opportunity for you guys to uh, bump that bell there and uh, give it a thumbs up so you'll get notified on the flip side. And I call flip side after I've come back and I've worked with the deck for a couple weeks. And again, the whole idea of me purchasing this deck was one, I was really attracted to the art. I mean, uh, Sarah Richard obviously is a great artist. I, and I did, again, I didn't even know that she had done uh, some comic book work, which is amazing. Cause again, I was like the only female that read it, read. I, I had very few females that actually came into my comic book store and bought comics from me. I was, it's so funny. Cause my, my ex called me a unicorn. <laughs> And then my current husband, my current husband, um, my husband, um, we always said our daughters were uni unicorns because they enjoyed comic books and gaming and uh, not just, you know, like playing video games, but actual role playing and all that jazz, painting figurines, all that. So, all righty, y'all, I'm just going to do a quick flip through, add a little music, and I will see you on the flip side. This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose But when you talk to me Give me the impression that I won't scratch your surface And I could walk for days Searching for your praise But is it even there? to find Is there a chance for me to clean your memories Will I slowly lose my mind
be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose But when you talk to me Give me the impression that I won't scratch your surface And I could walk for days Searching for your praise But is it even there to find? And I have to say I am even more disappointed because I, I haven't even shuffled this deck and look See that it's already damaged and as I was flipping through I had already found a bent card So you can see it right there can You see the reflection there Yeah, so Yeah, I mean I'm looking forward to it being a study deck, but I'm already jaded. I'm like already disappointed in the deck because this will definitely be a study deck. Will I buy a second copy? Because I want a perfect, I'm a collector. I, I'm a collector and I like to have my decks nice and neat. And you know what? Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to pick up this deck again in the future. I'm sure that I'll be able to pick this up second hand because the card stock is, excuse my language, shit. <laughs> and I'm just gonna have to keep that in mind um, for a future. Uh, well, the publisher says Adams Media, but yeah. Um, all right, I am going to love this deck because I am looking forward to studying with it, but I am definitely not sure about shuffling and reading with it. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you on the flip side and I'll let you know what I think in a couple weeks. <laughs>